So this video I wanted to talk to you all about using dumbbells. So you see on the floor here, we have two, right? One that I have basically made into one heavy ass dumbbell. And you can see there, those are 10 pounders. So we've got a total of six 10 pounders on each side of that, which turns out to be 120 pounds. Plus the weight of the dumbbell itself is about eight or nine pounds with the collars on it, okay? So, um, you know, not a whole lot of exercises I would say try and use this for. The one I can think of when I had a much stronger back was bent over rows, uh, shrugs. Uh, there is the potential, you know, that thing could pop off there and you could end up having a lot of weight end up on your foot, even though it does seem like they're, they're pretty secure. Uh, the problem might come when you drop that on the ground, if, if you happen to drop it on the ground, that uh, those will, the weights will pop off. But uh, that said, now, if you found some better plates, um, not necessarily better plates, but uh, thinner plates, we'll say, you could go even heavier than this. I think some of these are rated up to about 200 pounds worth of weight you can put on them. But you can see this five pounder, if I put it next to it, quite a bit thinner. Um, can't get that on here, it would appear. But uh, if you found some thinner tens, you could potentially make a 140 pound dumbbell, 150. Um, what I could have fit on here is one of the smaller weight plates. This is a micro gains plate, one pounder. It would fit on there. For sure, um, and even the thinner version of that, the two and a half pounder, I believe I could get on here. But that said, we're not going to uh, use this in the video today because I'm not warmed up for that. And uh, I'm not even sure my back could handle it. So what we've got is this little dumbbell here, okay? Uh, I've got two fives on there and plus the weight of the barbell itself being close to eight to nine pounds. So we're going to try and demonstrate some exercises and hopefully I'll be in a frame in each shot. So let's see if we can set this up. All right, so the first exercise we'll demonstrate is just a, a bent over row, we're trying to keep our upper part of our body horizontal with the ground. Uh, slight bend in our, our back, our leg that's on the floor and the other one's bent. And we're just going to pull this weight up and then get a nice stretch at the bottom. All right, so you can do that with this. Um, potentially, you could do tricep kickbacks. My, I didn't really warm up for this, so probably not too good an idea to do too many of those. Tricep kickback to be done. While I'm uh, sitting here, I work my forearms. Uh, of course, you could work the other. Another portion of the forearm by flipping this over if I had lighter weight on here. So that would not be too bad a thing for that. Of course, we could do concentration curls with this. All right. You can do, um, I'm going to do it seated, seated. You can do hammer curls. This isn't really good for doing these kind of curls because the bar is so long. All right. Um, you can sit on your back and do work your tricep, okay? We can potentially do other exercises, trying to expand the uh, rib cage, right? Um, let's adjust this so I'm standing so we can show you some other exercises you might do with that. All right, so as noted, you can do shoulder shrugs with it. All right, and this is a place you could really load this up because you potentially could put a 25 pounder on there, maybe heavier. Um, if it's further out and your body fits between the weights, you would be able to do that. Of course, having a bigger plate on here would allow you not to have to bend over as far. And, uh, and I'm breathing a little heavy from throwing this weight around. So, 
you can work your triceps, right? You can do that. Um, we mentioned, you know, seated hammer curl, you could do that. Now, if you found a bench, um, you could do a prone bicep curl. You can do side lats with it, right? You can do front lats, and I don't really want to warm my, uh, screw up my shoulders here when they're not warmed up. You can do work your rear deltoid too, right? So a bunch of exercises just related to the shoulder, the tricep, the bicep, the forearm. We can, of course, use these to, uh, you can do, of course, you're not going to see it so well, but uh, you could squat holding dumb, two dumbbells, right? So you could do stuff with your legs, of course, all kinds of different things there. So let's talk about a few more things. Now, for military press, as long as you're uh, not putting this on your knee, uh, maybe do one arm at a time so you can use your second arm would work. I don't recommend these for uh, flat bench and incline. Not to say you can't do it, but uh, the heavier those weights get, the more difficult it's going to get and the more painful this thing is going to feel sitting on your knee as you uh, load that thing up. Now there are, uh, you know, other exercises one could do obviously with this, but that is the, that's the majority of what yours truly uh, would, you know, want to use it for. Uh, I think my favorite thing though is the fact that you could go buy one of those adjustable blocks you know, and uh, spend whatever those are going for. Or you could buy two of these, which I think I got for about 30, 30 bucks. Uh, the weight plates themselves, if you're lucky to get them for close to 10 pounds, uh, let's say, you know, just for the 10 pounders, close to 10 pounds for $10 or so, 10 to 15. You know, you're looking at quite an investment, but you look at the equivalent dumbbell rack oh my god that's a lot of money right and if you've already got all these plates like yours truly does it works out pretty good from that aspect well folks i think that's going to do it for uh this video um you know a lot of other variations of, of triceps we could do with that of biceps of working the forearms of working the legs of you know trying to work your back you can use dumbbells. You know, we didn't talk about uh, upright rows. Not one of my favorites, um, just because it usually puts the, the wrist at a bad angle. But uh, those kind of things you can accomplish. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.